when Russia rolled out its Su-57, the reactions were predictable. Critics dismissed it as a paper jet, a cheap imitation of the American F-22. Analysts scoffed, Western pilots shrugged, and most countries ignored it, sticking with tried-and-true aircraft. Yet beneath the mockery, something formidable was quietly taking shape. The Su-57 wasn't just another fighter. It was evolving into a weapon the world cannot ignore. Dark notice. The unseen exposed. Initially launched as the PAK FA T-50, the Su-57 represented Russia's bold attempt to match the capabilities of Western fifth-generation fighters. Early setbacks, production delays, technical glitches, and test crashes gave skeptics plenty of reason to doubt it. Visible rivets, inconsistent stealth, and engines that weren't fully reliable painted a picture of a jet still in its infancy. Compared to the flawless F-22 or the multi-role F-35, the Su-57 looked unfinished. Coupled with sanctions and budget constraints, many viewed it as a prestige project that overreached. But Russia didn't back down. Engineers kept refining the aircraft, and over time, the Su-57 transitioned from a prototype to a credible, combat-ready platform. The ridicule slowly faded, and what emerged was far more dangerous than anyone had expected. Redefining stealth, strategy over invisibility. One of the main criticisms has always been its stealth profile. The Su-57 is not a pure stealth aircraft. The radar cross-section is larger than that of the F-22 or F-35, especially from the side and rear. But that's the point. Russia's goal was never to copy American stealth doctrine. Instead, the Su-57 employs selective stealth, low visibility from the front, high speed, extreme agility, and advanced electronic warfare capabilities. It doesn't need to vanish completely. It only needs to get close enough to deliver a decisive strike. This combination of partial stealth and raw maneuverability defies traditional Western assumptions about fifth-generation air superiority. Supermaneuverability, close-range dominance. Western fighters focus on stealth and networked operations, but the Su-57 leans into an old-school advantage, supermaneuverability. Its 3D thrust vectoring engines allow extreme aerobatics, missile evasion, and tight dogfight turns that no Western fifth-generation aircraft can replicate. At close range, this gives Russian pilots a decisive edge. These capabilities aren't just for show. They can disrupt AWACS-protected strike groups, evade slow drones, and create chaos deep inside enemy airspace. Advanced sensors, eyes everywhere. The Su-57 sensor suite is sophisticated and lethal. The N036 Bielka radar combines X-band and L-band radars, giving it an edge against stealth aircraft. L-band can detect low RCS targets like the F-35 at longer ranges, while its IRST, or Infrared Search and Track system, allows silent, passive targeting. Helmet-mounted displays and advanced sensor fusion mean the Su-57 can locate, track, and engage enemies with precision even in environments where radar would fail. Internal weapons and hypersonic strike potential. Another remarkable feature is the internal weapons bay. Critics once doubted Russia could fit modern weapons and bombs inside, but the Su-57 carries everything from R-77M air-to-air -air missiles to stealthy cruise missiles and advanced bombs. Even more alarming for adversaries is its potential to deploy hypersonic weapons like the Kinech 47M2 Kinzhal. Imagine a squadron of fast, stealthy, and ultra-maneuverable jets delivering Mach-10 missiles. This capability moves the Su-57 from a defensive fighter to a first strike platform, changing the rules of air combat. Export and combat experience. For years, foreign buyers avoided the Su-57 due to its unproven status, but that perception is changing. Countries like India, Algeria, and Vietnam are reportedly reconsidering the jet. Why? Because Russia has now tested it in real-world scenarios. 
Syria and Ukraine have provided operational feedback on radar performance, weapon integration, and electronic warfare systems. Every mission adds credibility. The Su-57 is no longer a paper prototype. It's an evolving, export-ready warplane. Foundation for the next generation. The Su-57 is also the stepping stone for Russia's sixth-generation fighter programs, such as the Su-75 Checkmate. Lessons learned from stealth, speed, sensor fusion, and unmanned teaming are shaping the future of Russian air power. While the West focuses on NGAD and Tempest, Russia is quietly building the next generation of aerial dominance. The Su-57 is not the end, it's a glimpse of what's coming. The Su-57 was once laughed at, called late, clunky, and obsolete. Today, that mockery is fading. The jet has proven its agility, combat strategy, and weapons integration. As global air power evolves, the Su-57 is emerging as a serious contender. It's not about perfection. It's about being unpredictable, adaptable, and lethal. Next time someone dismisses the Su-57, remind them Russia built it to win wars, not beauty contests. Beneath its angular frame lies a force the world can no longer ignore. If you found this analysis eye-opening, like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into global defense and aviation technology. Which fighter jet do you think is most underrated today? Drop your thoughts in the comments.